Hello everybody. Before starting today's video, I would like to inform you that there is a special announcement in today's video. If you wish to know what that announcement is, then please watch today's video till the end. Hello and welcome to my channel All About Accountancy where we convert your accounting problems into solutions. I am your host Professor Tanmay Kesarkar and today I am back with the last episode of What Do You Mean? What Do You Mean is a series in which I discuss some of the accounting terminologies which a layman should understand before learning accountancy. Before getting any further into today's video, I would like to apologize for not uploading videos for the last two weeks. Due to noise pollution caused by firecrackers and some technical issues, I could not upload videos in the last two weeks. But today I am back with the last episode of What Do You Mean? And today I am going to discuss about accounting standards. So in today's video, I am going to tell you what do you mean by accounting standards? Who made these accounting standards and why did they come into existence? Accounting standards are a basic set of rules which were laid down by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India that is ICAI in the year 1977. The ICAI made an accounting standard board whose main objective was to make the accounting standards. The main objective of these accounting standards was to maintain uniformity in the preparation of financial statements. The accounting standards were made in accordance of four things. The Indian laws, the international accounting standards, the purpose of the financial statements and the role of the auditor. Hence, all the accounting standards abide by the Indian laws. They do not contradict the international accounting standards, which helps us to compare the financial statements of the domestic companies and the international companies. The accounting standards help in achieving the main purpose of the financial statements that is to reflect the true and fair view of an organization. And lastly, the accounting standards help to define the role of an auditor. There were 32 accounting standards in total but at present there are only 31 accounting standards. One accounting standard was withdrawn. Accounting standard 8 which was related to research and development was withdrawn. A basic accounting standard consists of a statement which explains the accounting standard, definitions of the terms which were used in the above statement, the purpose of the accounting standard, what items are affected by this accounting standard, presentation and disclosure requirements, and the date from which this accounting standard is effective. As mentioned earlier, the main objective of every accounting standard is to standardize the accounting policies and principles which are followed by the different business organizations. Other than this objective, there are other benefits of accounting standards as well. First and foremost, the accounting standard reduces the differences in the treatment of financial statements. For example, there are various methods to depreciate an asset. But with the help of accounting standards, companies of the same industry follow the same method of depreciation. Accounting standard provides for additional disclosures which reduces any sort of misunderstanding in the interpretation of the financial statements. Accounting standard helps in the comparison of financial statements of various organizations because all the organizations are following the same method. There are some limitations to accounting standards as well. First and foremost, some of the accounting standards do not follow the Indian laws. This is because there have been a lot of fluctuations in the laws regarding the preparation of financial statements. But the accounting standards have not changed at all. In such a situation, an organization must follow the Indian laws and not the accounting standards while preparing the financial statements. Sometimes the accounting standards are not rigid. They are flexible, that is, they give you an option to choose whichever method you want. In such cases, there is a chance that various organizations follow different different methods and there is no uniformity in their financial statements. Also, choosing the correct method of valuation can be a risky task. And last but certainly not the least, accounting standards are quite mechanical. That's all the information about accounting standards. I hope you have liked today's video and the entire series of what do you mean. 
if you wish to check the entire series the link is in the description box and at the end of this video as well don't forget to like and share my video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a new video i upload videos every wednesday and sunday if you have any queries or suggestions then please don't forget to use the comment box down below remember until and unless you don't ask doubts i cannot start my new series called clear your doubts and now the special announcement that you have all been waiting for this announcement is related to all the students who are appearing for the hsc state board examinations held in february 2019 i am starting a crash course in the month of january 2019 for all the students appearing for 12th hsc board exams that is state board exams which are held in february 2019 This crash course is not an online crash course it is a offline crash course so if you are interested in this crash course you will have to come to my class in order to participate in the crash course for further details you can find me on twitter and instagram by the name of all about accountancy i also have a facebook page called tanmay's private classes you can also shoot me an email my email id is tanmay pvt tutor at the rate gmail.com All these links are given in the description box down below. So if you have any queries related to the crash course then you can contact me on the social links given down below. See you in my next video. Till then this is Professor Tanmay Kesarkar signing off. Good luck and take care.